a, a lovely book uh, written in 1912 by a man called Jameson Hurry called The Vicious Circles of Neurasthenia. And he drew, it's a book of little diagrams really that he drew, rather sweet really, um, going from mind to body and back again. And I think we had some very interesting examples um, of how uh, you can be, get an illness and then the behavior you adopt serves to perpetuate the illness. So I guess, do we need to think about a different paradigm? Should we be thinking about psychosomatic illness, which was the old idea, asthma, so on, or psychosomatic illnesses, the other illnesses weren't, they were kind of, I suppose, real illnesses, or should we be thinking about psychosomatic medicine? And I thought the, the talks this afternoon were really interesting in putting these mechanisms in a context. And the context is it's complex. And that probably all symptoms have a psychological aspect to them. So that's a shift, isn't it? And then you take this even further, and we're hearing about IBS, and we're hearing about dizziness, and we get a kind of figure ground flip here. Because it used to be there was all those diseases out there, and there was this little weird people, you guys here, that were interested in this psychosomatic stuff. And then suddenly we realize, no, we're the normal people. We're, we are interested, that's most illnesses that people have are not based in disease. Disease is actually the minority sport. The disease is very important in determining mortality, but determining morbidity in the population. Disease is less important than the, 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 the illnesses that are driven more predominantly by these other factors. So, I think maybe we need to be thinking lots of hints today about how we change paradigm. Um, and I think for research, that's going to mean, as we're hearing today, we have fantastic presentations of neurologists and psychiatrists, and endocrinologists and psychiatrists. So we've actually got to take a more joined up view. The idea we can just have psychologists and psychiatrists when it comes to anything like a, 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 a medical condition study, we're gonna to have to be mixed together. We're gonna to have to have a joined up approach. And psychosomatic meaning body and mind, psychology and other biological factors are the way to go. And I think the same is gonna be the case for clinical teams. So when you think about obesity and about diabetes and about the stimuli disease, you see some wonderful examples of how we have to put together what used to be called psychosomatic and what used to be called medical. So I think this is a really exciting time. I think this has crystallized well today. We're on edge of thinking about these things in a completely different way. And as, as Judith said, you know, a lot of the, the, the ways we think about things, we have to change the way that we and other doctors think about illness. Uh, and rather than just think there's a lot of normal patients and a few weird patients out there, there's probably just a lot of weird doctors out there, including us. Okay, any questions? Have I provoked any thoughts? Everyone else sort of nodding was disappointing. I hope for hostility and anger. Uh, yes? So, I just want to say, I really agree with you, and as a child psychiatrist, I 